Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope everybody's having a really, really good day. I have a word that I want to share with you. Now, I'm going to let you know it's going to be a challenging word. It's going to be a training, an educational word. And I'll be honest, for some people, it could be a little bit scary. But recently, in a time of corporate prayer, we were praying, and I just uh, really felt the Lord speak to me strongly about this, about giving an account. People forget. And you don't hear people preach about this a lot, but Holy Spirit spoke to me in corporate prayer that I need to remind people about this biblical truth. So if you're hearing this, you're hearing this for a reason, okay? You're going to have to give an account, all right? So remember this, that you will give an account for the prophetic words and the promises that you have been given. Funny story. I remember I had this friend when I was a lot younger. And I said, man, I was praying. I really felt this. He said, no, no, no. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I said, what do you mean? He said, I'm afraid that you're going to tell me something that I'm going to have to give an account for. I don't want anything else given to me. I don't want to learn anything else. I don't want any prophetic words because I don't want to give an account for anything. And I said, oh man, you've missed the whole point. But listen, you need to look at every prophetic word that has ever been spoken over your life. You will give an account for those. Every truth that you have learned, that you've disobeyed, you will give an account for those words. Romans 14, 12. Therefore, each one must answer for himself and give an, a personal account for his own life before God. Every person will give an account for their personal life before God. I want you to think about that. A lot of people like to waste their life. A lot of people like to to spend their life and think that it's their own. Well, being a believer means that we've died to ourself. We picked up our cross daily and followed after the Lord. What does that mean? It means that we die to the flesh every day and we walk in the spirit. You're going to give an account. Matthew 12, 36. You can be sure of this. When the day of judgment comes, everyone will be held accountable Oh, my goodness. For every careless word that they have spoken. Every careless word that you have spoken, you will give an account for. This is why, it's one of the reasons why I tell people all the time, do not be negative and do not make excuses. You will give an account for every word that comes out of your mouth. A lot of people don't talk about this. They don't teach on this. But when Holy Spirit reminded me of this in corporate prayer, I knew I had to do a video on it. I knew that I had to speak things forth. You know, that's why I'm so big on, you know, resources. Um, that's the word I have. But I want to share two resources. One is personal turnaround. There's a lot of people that need a personal turnaround. You can find this book everywhere that... Books are sold online. You can buy it. this book. We sold a lot of copies of this book. A lot of great testimonies. The other one, I love this book. It's called Voices of Roar. Uh, my wife and I um, got, got some guest writings from uh, Dutch Sheets and my apostle Kim Malone. A lot of different voices in there. When you get the right voices in your life, man, things start to happen. You're going to give an account. Make sure you get that good job, well done, good and faithful servant. Don't be somebody that lives a life that is unfulfilled. Live your life for the things of God. Go after God with everything that you have inside of you, okay? I love you guys, and I hope that this video helped you today. And everyone will be held accountable for every careless word. <laughs> 
That right there should make you clean up your speech to a whole nother level. Love you guys.